Change is inevitable. Go along with it and find find your way. All right, here we are at the Interactive Tell booth. Um, dealers want to hear from other dealers, which is why we're trying to bring you um, as many dealer perspectives as we can. We're here with Steven representing Interactive Tell. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, what he's doing, and then we're going to hear from the dealer because that's what we always care about. So, Steve, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Steven Kaplis. I'm Director of Strategic Major Accounts for Interactive Tell. We're delighted to be here. Uh, we've been uh, doing this since 2008. I've been with the company since 2011. We're just excited to see all of our dealers today, new and old. All right, now we're going to let the main event. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little about yourself and your store. Yeah, my name is Jeremy Shoemaker. I'm a managing partner at Toyota of Irving in Irving, Texas. Uh, we've been with Interactive Tell as a customer prior to, to uh, going on their full suite. Um, you know, but yeah, we. Uh, Tell me yeah. about your store a little bit. So. Okay, yeah, family owned store. Uh, my grandfather founded it in 68, and my, my father took it over, and then I'm doing the Third same. Third generation. Third then. gen, yeah. Yeah, we're a progressive store. We always, you know, things move so fast nowadays. You know, so that's why one of the reasons partnering with Interactive Tell uh, for our sales floor, you know, and uh, yeah. All right, so I have a question for you. Uh, this is just broad industry question. Yeah. Um, a lot of change, a lot of transition. Everyone's facing it. Everyone's dealing with it. What is your mindset heading into 2022? How are you just approaching strategically 2022? Broad question. You can answer it however you like. Yeah, well, I think the, our mindset is always moving forward. Um, you know, through the pandemic, we didn't, we didn't terminate a single staff member. Uh, we just kept on with our process and yeah, car inventory is an issue, but uh, our profitability and, and yeah, we're, we've got less sales, but we've just made, and our service customers, we just have been able to maintain that momentum that we've always had. So what are you saying to your team? What are you saying to your team to get them prepared for what's to come? For interactive tell or no, for no, what's no, to just, come next year? What are you saying to your team in the store? You know, like, how are you? getting their mindset set? Like, what are some of the things in the conversations you're having? Well, in our store, no one really, we have a few, but most everyone is not afraid of change because we are constantly always changing or improving. It's the culture. It's a culture, absolutely. That's 100% of it. And we've got that culture, we've had that culture for nearly a decade, you know, and and, uh, and, and with the younger gen, you know, the millennial, the younger gen that works within our store, you know, it's helpful because if you can, if you can present something with common sense and theory, right? Um, and then say, this is what we're going to do, then usually you get people to jump on board with you. So every every industry partner like Interactive Tell um, is always excited to, to partner with progressive people, right? Which is probably why we're sitting here talking right yeah. now, because you're willing to think outside the box. How have you implemented Interactive Tell solutions into the progressive things that you're doing? So we've got our own inter, uh, internal BDC for sales and service, and Interactive Tell had already shared that space with us. Um, and me being a control freak, you know, I did my own phone system through Elastic. I'll do it for myself. Yeah, I'll right? do it for yeah. myself. I'll control it myself. Well, that's all great. It, right? It's all great, you know, but it's it's not easy managing, you know, the inner workings of a phone system and the legal stuff that you have to do. So that's why we, we I, I called Steve and I said, hey, um, I'm done playing this game. I'm not a phone provider. Right. You need uh, to focus on doing what you're best at yeah, doing. Yeah, what I'm best that, at. You figured out it wasn't phone things. Yeah. You know, and it was great, but but uh, Interactive tells their technology you know, and, and plus, you know, they're, they've got a local office out in Houston, I believe. So headquartered. headquartered there, which, you know, we're from Texas. So doing business with people in Texas is what we like it's to do. always good. That's yeah. right. Um, so that's that's why we, we made the plunge and, and let them manage the headaches and all the legal stuff. And they're going to help, you know, help communication just be on point all the time. So I know a really big question. Um, you know, everything seems nice and shiny, right? We're at the right. show right now. Sure. And everyone's like, we have the best product, the best service, right? You never meet someone that doesn't tell you that. Right. But but we all know like a product can be fantastic, but if the service and the relationship doesn't really work, yeah. it can fall apart really quickly. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, tell us a little about your experience there. Yeah, uh, my, my experience with, with, uh, with Steven has been great and with Interactive Tell. Uh, we've never had an issue with him in the past. Um, you know, you're, you're exactly right. You know, it all presents well. Uh, but in theory, when you get it in the store, if the support's not there, the product's going to fall apart. People lose sight of it. People lose the culture about it. And, and you know, you got you got to change. Stephen, what's the difference? Uh, what do you think that difference is? Because there, you know, there are a lot of vendors. There are a lot of service teams. Uh, you hear a lot of horror stories, right? And a lot of grumping or uh, griping, right? And when you work around. So why why is your team positioned to offer really great service? Uh, well, I think, first of all, one of the great things about our company that 
Jeremy just mentioned about his is we also during the, pand during the pandemic, not only did we not lay anybody off or stop anybody, we expanded. So as we're growing, we're continuing to grow internally. Um, our company has almost doubled in size in the last year and a half. Our dealer base has expanded. And so we are still a small enough company where we can listen and hear from our customers. Almost everything that we continue to develop as a company are things that we're hearing from our customers. And we're still flexible enough on the fly to do that. We have accessible staff basically 24 hours a day, and you know we're all easy to reach, and there's always a way to find the right person to take care of those needs that the customers have. I love that. All right, parting words. You get a chance to speak to dealers that are gonna see this. We're not talking about phone systems. We're just talking about the heart of the automotive industry. What are you gonna encourage the industry to do right now? Uh, change is inevitable. Go along with it and find, find your way. There you go. Thank you, gentlemen, for spending some time with us today. It was really a pleasure to meet you.